Hello everyone and welcome to a new video where we are discussing a much colder topic in terms of Plans to do DLCs. So this is another double up video much like my Latin America and Central America pack video from yesterday And today we are discussing the Tundra animal pack and the Alpine animal pack both DLCs that could add a, a substantial amount of highly requested species and a few different and more diverse ideas so without further ado let's get into it shall we beginning with the tundra animal pack the animals go as follows our flagship for this pack is the mighty muskox one of the largest of the sheep and goat family and a magnificent animal i would love to see added in a pack such as this Next up, we have the walrus, an animal that I have included in the coastal pack idea, but I think it is all well a good pick here, as they are from the Arctic and one of the most iconic animals from the Arctic, adorned with huge tusks and a mighty mustache of a myriad of whiskers that help them sift through the sand of the seafloor to find clams and other crustaceans. This, this animal is quite rare in captivity, however, but would be a welcome addition nonetheless. Our Antarctic selection is the Gentoo penguin, one of the smaller penguins in the world and one of the fastest in the, in the water as well. These animals are usually kept alongside king penguins in captivity and due to that I think these guys are the perfect pick for this pack to give the king penguin a bit of company in their enclosures. The snow goose is a waterfowl that migrates from the southern United States all the way up into the Arctic tundra. And they have a variety of different color variations, as you can see here, an individual with a white head, a grayer individual in the back, and the, of course, the bright white coloration that is usually associated with this species. These animals would be great to utilize the new waterfowl rig that was brought in by the mute swan. And I would just love to see these guys as they fit the pack quite well. One of the smallest animals in this pack, the palace's cat, this animal is from the alpine tundras of the Himalayas and Tibetan Plateau. Living at higher elevations than snow leopards, this small cat has thick fur which allows it to be completely protected from the cold weather. And many, many have said that the palace's cat doesn't really fit in a tundra pack, but given that it lives in the Himalayan tundras, I think it would be a worthy addition nonetheless. A notable catherine is the bighorn sheep. This animal is a mighty member of the sheep and goat family that would be a welcome addition, found in the tundras of the Rocky Mountains and all the way up towards the Arctic. They would be a very welcome addition as they are one of the more iconic animals of America and would really be able to spice up that alpine roster. Another animal that would be a welcome addition is the yak. Now, this is the, the domestic yak I'm talking about, as wild yaks are not very successful in captivity. With what I've read, they've not, never lived beyond three years, I'm pretty sure. And the domestic yak would be a perfect substitute, as these animals are a magnificent species and would be very welcome in a pack such as this. The sea otter is a bit of an odd choice for an alternative, given they spend their whole lives at sea, but their range does coincide with the tundra biome in a certain point. Another notable catherine is the mountain goat, living in similar habitat to the bighorn sheep, and for very similar reasons I have included it here. The chinstrap penguin is another notable penguin species of the sub-Antarctic islands that would be a welcome addition in place of the gentoo if the gentoo weren't to be included. And they do have a very unique look, so they would be a very interesting addition for a penguin. A possible alternative for the palace's cat is the Canada lynx. In many's opinion, a more notable cat from the tundra biome and probably a better choice. Let me know in the comments, what, do you, what would you prefer, a Canada lynx or a palace's cat in a tundra animal pack? As for the exhibit slot, I could really only find one choice in the Siberian salamander, a pretty small species, but would be a good um, animal to be in the exhibit box as the tundra biome does lack a lot of reptiles and amphibians as a whole. It's mostly an environment for larger animals to 
tough out the elements, but the salamander does manage to do so as well. Moving on with the free update features, we of course have the new foliage with the arctic willow, the giant spear moss, the arctic poppy, tussock grass, and a new feature for animals being hanging hair. Now hanging hair is something that is added with the muskox and the yak as these these animals are notable with their hanging coats of hair. So I would love to see like ragdoll physics added to certain portions of the hair to give the illusion of that it's actually hanging from the body. Animals that would benefit from this update would of course be the Bornean orangutan, an animal that does not currently have the hanging hair that they do in real life. But also the African lion would benefit from this as many lions can have pretty long, long manes. And the hair of the manes does inherently hang from the body. Moving on to my personal preference for a pack, the Alpine Animal Pack. Beginning with the animals. We have the Markhor, a large mountain goat from the Himalayas in Pakistan and northern India. These animals would be a great addition as they are one of the most magnificent looking of the wild goats with those large spiral horns, which in mythology are said to be the snakes that they have eaten that have curved out to create those horns. A little bit of fact there. The primate for this pack is the Jalada. One of the most notable mountain primates in the world found in the Simeon and Bale mountains of Ethiopia. Their hourglass shape on their chest gives them their other name, the Bleeding Heart Baboon. But they're not actually true baboons, they are a close relative, however. Gelatas are well known for their huge gape to expose large canine teeth, as well as flicking their lips up in an intimidation display. The spectacle bear, though I did include it in the Central America pack, is also found here, as I think this animal is well deserving of a place in this pack, and I would love to see it personally. If we weren't to get the spectacle bear, the guanaco would be a perfect substitute. This relative of the llama is one of the most notable animals of the alpine tundras of Patagonia and the Andes and one of the largest animals you'll find in South America, a favorite prey of, of Andean mountain lions. A small rodent from the mountains of Europe, the Alpine Marmots is also an addition here, as it's highly requested by the community, and I think it's about time we got another rodent again. The Rock Hyrax is another small mammal, but despite its, its quaint appearance, it is not a rodent. These, these small mammals are in fact related to elephants, surprisingly, evolving separately from a common ancestor, but are very close to the largest land animals on Earth. The golden pheasant is the most colourful animal in this pack, found in the mountain forests of China, and would be a striking addition to any zoo. Another possible addition is the Dad or Barbary sheep. A species from the Barbary Mountains of Northern Africa, that would be a phenomenal addition as I have seen these animals in real life and they are just as magnificent as they look here. If the hanging hair feature were to be added, this is another animal that would benefit from it, as they are a magnificent wild sheep. The palace's cat is also a possible alternative here as if it were to come down to it, the alpine biome is much more associated with this felid species. If we were not to get the gelada in this pack, the best possible alternative would be the Hamadryas baboon, a highly requested primate by the community and a readily exhibited species in zoos around the world. As this is an animal pack, we move on to the exhibit slot. So first option is possibly the Mangshan pit viper, a very beautiful looking snake from the mountains of, of China and a species that you'd probably recognize as being one of the staples of San Diego Zoo. Another possible alternative exhibit animal is the Chinese giant salamander, the largest amphibian in the world found in mountain streams. And an Australian pick for this pack would be the Southern Corroboree frog, a brightly colored species of frog that lives in the mosses of 
the Mount Kosciuszko National Park. And I think they would be a very cool addition as I've seen these little frogs in person and they are also critically endangered due to habitat loss and a chytrid fungus, I believe, is one of their major, major problems. But these animals would be great to get to more international attention. Moving on to the free update. We have the foliage. So this is the giant groundsel of Mount Kenya. Followed up by the giant lobelia. The Ethiopian wildflower. The Himalayan hemlock and the deodar cedar. And the chirpine. Followed by moss covered Andean cloud forest trees with epiphytes. That would be a great addition to create an atmospheric enclosure for animals like the spectacled bear. Andean club moss and cushion moss would also be a great addition to enrich the tundra appearance, as the Andean tundra is very different to other tundras around the world. Their mosses are very different and some, sometimes more colourful. Some major additions would be the addition of licking salt enrichment. Salt is a very important mineral to, to all animals, and adding this feature would be great to improving the nutrition of many of the animals in your zoos. Zoo binoculars to give guests a closer look at animals that may be far off in an enclosure would be also a very good addition to enrich the experience of the guests in your zoos. And as alpine refers to moving up and down slopes, escalators and elevators would help guests to better move through these steep slopes and valleys. But there's, that is all for the Alpine and Tundra Animal Packs. Let me know what you would think. Would you like to see these packs? Would you not like to see these packs? Or would you like to see one or the other? Let me know what animals you would put in your ideal Alpine or Tundra Animal Packs down in the comments down below. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.